So here's a little bonus video for you on the Tacticam 4.0 and how it works. There's going to be a full review video coming up. I'm actually working on that now, getting some good shooting in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's links in the description below, and check this out. So this is the Tacticam 4.0. To operate it, you simply push the on-off button, and it will come on, power up, start recording. It takes about three seconds, and you're recording. When that little light around the power button starts blinking, you know you're recording. The color of the mode button tells you what mode you're in. It'll default to whatever mode you were in the last when you powered it off. Right now it's in the 2.7K mode, which is great for low light. To change modes, you pause it by pressing the power button. Press the mode button to make that button change colors. Now it is in a 1080p 5x zoom mode. This is the mode you'll use most often. I'll typically keep it in that mode unless it's during that last 20 minutes or so or first 20 minutes or so of shoot time. The other available mode is your slow motion mode or 120 feet per second. This is great if you're going to want to be doing some slow motion. You can actually use the app to film in slow motion, but if you set it up that way, it will only play, black, play back in slow motion. If you set it up this way and just film at 120, feet, uh, 120 frames per second, you can actually slow it down a lot easier with your editing software. Pause that, and you'll see if we turn the camera off by holding the button, let it power off, vibrates twice real long. When you turn it back on, it will default right back to where you left it last. To turn the Wi-Fi on, thank you Gabe for making noise, to turn the Wi-Fi on, you pause the camera, pause, hold the mode button, and you'll see the Wi-Fi light come on. Now you can connect that to your phone or iPad, and then activate the Tacticam app and run through everything, including reviewing your footage uh, from your phone. Very simple, very nice. The difference between the 4.0 and the 3.0 is simply the 3.0 does not have Wi-Fi. You can also tap the button like that to do the, enter the blackout mode where all the lights are off. Anytime you're recording and you don't want those lights lit, you can do that. And I'm going to deactivate the Wi-Fi here. I'm going to switch it back to my 5x zoom 1080p and shut it down because this is where I want my camera to be the next time I power it up. Tacticam 4.0. Whoop whoop! Alright, on the inside of the Tacticam 4.0, first you have to unlock the back cap by sliding the little button up. A little bit of a turn like that and the cap comes off. This allows you to access your battery and your class 10 micro SD card which goes upside down. 32 gig plus is recommended. So you can get them up to 64 but the 32 gig is really the best bang for the buck. You also have a micro USB connector for charging and your TV HDMI output. So you can hook this straight to your TV and watch the videos using your app um, on your television. It's very cool. Put our card back in. Put our battery back in. Put our cap back on and lock it with a button on the back. Done. So Stonehawker wanted us to show setting up for the shot. As part of my shot setup, I have the Tacticam with the underscope mount mounted on my Parker Thunderhawk, actually Tomahawk before they changed the name, Thunderhawk crossbow. All right, we're set up for this shot at 30 yards. So the first thing we're going to do is power up the camera, push the button once. You'll feel a couple of vibrations, tells you you're up and running. Oh, look, there's a deer at 30 yards. Dead deer. Always follow through. Keep, keep your camera aimed at the deer or whatever you're shooting at so you can get that post shot video as the deer runs away. That was not running, I killed him. Touch it once to pause it, or touch it and hold it to shut it off. Boom! <sighs> See, perfect.
Dead deer. So that's the Tacticam 4.0 and 3.0 operational and brief overview video. There will be a complete review video of this camera coming up on this channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and check out the links in the description below. Check out some of my other videos while you're here and give me that thumbs up like button. See you next time.